So, Dr. Anton, what is trending right now with breast augmentation? Well, if there is a little bit of a trend, it's toward a little bit smaller and more people, whether we're talking about breast augmentations, facelifts, or noses, everybody has put more uh, value on a very natural look. And it is, in all these procedures, it's very easy to understand technically how one gets from point A to point B and creates a natural look. For example, in the breast, for a lot of reasons, you don't want to put an implant ever on top of the muscle. Pretty much, it's hard to say the words ever and never in life, let alone plastic surgery, but 99.9% .9 of the time, you, want, you don't want to put them on top of the muscle because then there's a step off between implant and muscle. And in the cleavage, there's a step off. It's not as natural as when you put them underneath the muscle. Now, the muscle we're talking about is the pectoralis major muscle. It attaches to the humerus, so the arm here, and it fans out across the chest. It doesn't attach in here, but it attaches at the end. Uh, part of the collarbone, the sternum, and part of the ribs. And when you flex your muscle, you can see the lower edge here. When we put an implant in underneath this muscle, we open the cleavage up, and the muscle will delineate a nice, smooth cleavage, which is always very pretty. And the muscle helps smooth over the transition between no implant, implant up in here, all very natural. Now, the lower edge of the muscles here, we do divide the muscle a little bit down in here to help this round off. Mm -hmm. And uh, as one can see, if the implant's in here, there is no muscle below this line. So it's only the top half of the implant being covered, but it's perfect. So all of your patients know that when they come in, you share with them the very best placement for a breast implant is underneath the muscle. Yeah, and I tell them why. Yes. So they, they get it, they understand it. 